Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I love being here. Oh, please. I, I, I want to congratulate you on uh, so many things. Uh, I just want to start with uh, West Side Story. Uh, <laughs> not too shabby. You filmed that three years ago? Yeah, I was 16. In New York. Yeah, it, it was crazy. It's, it's kind of a full circle moment to have it come out now. Yeah. I'm in New York. It's so cool. I, I'm so happy to be a part of it. Do you remember uh, the, the audition for that? Yeah, I remember auditioning in LA and I was thinking like, oh, I'll just go do it just because it's a cool experience. Any dancer's dream to audition for West Side Story. And then I got there, did the audition, went good. But I was like, that was fun. That was cool. Didn't hear anything for a little bit. And then flew back to New York, got a call back. Okay. And then walk in and Steven Spielberg's in the room. I was like, oh, cool. So this is like the final audition. Yeah. Like I made it this far. You're like, are you the real Steven yeah. Spielberg? Yeah, this yeah. is cool. Wow. I was like, cool. Okay, <laughs> this is fun. I, also, I was like one of the youngest ones. So I was just kind of like trying to soak it all in. And then some time passed again. And my agent called me on like around Thanksgiving. Ooh. Or maybe it was Thanksgiving Day. and was like, yeah, so like we actually heard back from West Side Story. Like, I'm really sorry. You got the part. And I was like, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't, heart attack. Wow. I literally had a heart attack. Yeah. I was like, cool, thank you. But also, I'm kind of like yeah, traumatized. Don't ever do that yeah. Again. yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to prank my mom now and do the same exact thing. So I was like, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> so, then, <laughs> so then I did it exactly. Yeah, to just my told mom your mom. Too. And she Bad news. just like tears. Aww. So yeah, it was fun. Uh, well, here's, here's a picture of you and Steven on set. Uh, I will say the choreography uh, on this movie, it's. The most insane I mean, thing. Justin Peck is a genius. I've ever seen in my life. I go, I, it almost looks like it's the same person 400 I know. times. Everyone is so synchronized, but has their own like special different colors and, it's, and their own special thing. And it's like, it's it's amazing. Totally. And you go, well, that's not CGI. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> Every dancer was like so hardworking and so incredible and so talented. So it was just cool to be do a the part of it. Do, I know the actors too. I mean, do you get nervous when you're? having to act in, in front of Steven Spielberg and dance. Oh my god, are you kidding? I, I, I was having a heart attack the whole time. Yeah, you're like, can you please leave? <laughs> yeah. Do you mind just like taking five over there? Yeah. Steven, thanks. We'll take it from here. Yeah. I know it's your movie, but yeah, I don't want to do it in front of you. Thanks for letting us be here, by the way. <laughs> we appreciate yeah. it. Uh, uh, love Jaws. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah, right. Um, no, it was, he obviously made it such an amazing environment. He was just as excited as we all were, like literally watching the monitor, jumping up and down, so excited. Like it was his baby and I, I'm just so happy that he like absolutely loved every bit of the experience as well. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, did, he, did he want you to sing in the, in the movie? Um, I don't sing. That's like a very known thing, I think. Uh, Why? I, you know, I've learned, I've come to the conclusion that it's okay to not be good at everything. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm, I've settled on, I'm not tone deaf and that's all that matters. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, okay, yeah but uh, your boyfriend though, Eddie Benjamin, he's a, He's here. He's here yeah. tonight. Yeah, he's backstage, but he's, uh, he's just a great singer. I mean, but. He's amazing. But guys, I will not sing in front of him. Don't even ask me. I never will. He's like Spielberg. You go get out of the room. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I want to sing the song. But no, he doesn't. He doesn't go. Hey, just come on. Let's just do this one song together or something. Uh, you know, he's like, I could teach you. I could. Like, <laughs> I know you're gonna have to do a role one day where you're gonna have to sing. I'm like, no, I'll probably have to turn it down because that's how bad it is. <laughs> no, um, there's no, no way. No, but he's there in case. You know, one day. Yeah. Maybe. Training. Yes. He's going on tour with uh, Justin Bieber. Yes, he is. Now, this is a big deal. A huge deal. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously, I was, like, the biggest Justin Bieber fan when I was younger. I mean, everyone was. Hello. Like, I'm yeah. the biggest, yeah. Yeah, of course. I was a believer since I was day a believer, one. Yeah. No, I'm totally. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, like, a very full circle moment. I actually met him when I was, like, eight years old with my dance group, uh, which is so weird. We were, like, beside ourselves. It was the what was he? What was he like? Uh, I, I actually don't even remember. I was starstruck. Really? Yeah, totally. Like, I, 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 think I mean, I don't too. even, I think it happened so quickly. We were just all crying, and then that was <laughs> it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it was really cute, though. Uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Um, are you going to go on tour? Oh, definitely. I definitely would love to see Justin, of course, but I cannot wait to watch Eddie perform. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm so excited. I'm going to be like the groupie, just like following along everywhere. I love you. Yeah. No, I really do. Yeah, we love each like, other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm like, that's my boyfriend. That's my boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, exactly. uh, I want to talk about the fallout. Yes. Congratulations on Thank this. Uh, Rave Reviews uh, won the Grand Jury Prize. Thank you. Won the Grand Jury Prize for Best Film at South by Southwest. So crazy. It's massive. It's, it's uh, massive. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful movie. Can you explain you. Uh, what The Fallout is, is about? Yeah, uh, The Fallout is a 
coming of age story about high schoolers who share a unique bond and they're kind of navigating love and self-discovery and healing kind of in the aftermath of a tragedy that happens at the school. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a heavy one for sure. Uh, and is it true, I heard that you improvised some scenes? Yeah, a lot of the time, um, Megan, the director and writer, she's incredible. Great, by the and way. she was an actor previous, so she definitely like she just let it. us do our thing, which was amazing. And at the end of each scene, she'd be like, let's just do a fun run, you guys do whatever you want. And a lot of those scenes ended up making the movie just because it makes it so real, and it's yeah. really, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Thank a great you. performance. Congrats. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Maddie Ziegler in The Fallout. Take a look at this. <laughs> You're like yodeling. You probably didn't know this about me, but I am the best yodeler in my family. Prove it. But you can't put me on the spot like that, because okay. then that's just like, you know. This like, is like the little preview. Oh, yeah, this is like warm up. Okay. You know, but I'm going to get you when you're not even ready. And you're going to be like, <gasps> <laughs> Hey, you know, this might sound weird, because, like, I haven't known you for that long, but, like, I feel so comfortable with you. Like, we're bonded or something. Same. Maddie Ziegler, everybody! The Fallout premieres January 27th on HBO Max. Hey, hey.